Yo, we are with trained future civil and structural engineer. In my last video, just my last video, I showed you guys how to use this stone bridge company template to detail this being in less than 20 minutes. But right now, I'll be using manual detailing to show you for the sort of people who don't have these templates or who cannot afford these templates. I'll be showing you how to use manually to now detail your beam from scratch. And for those of people also who want to know how to detail beam manually from scratch, I will show you also this right now, how to, how to, how to detail your beam manually. And but if you can afford this template, Stonebridge Company template, you can see that this Stonebridge Company template has a lot of samples as you can see it here. And all this, all these ultra detailing are being detailed to a global standard of detailing, which is accepted anywhere in the world, even in Chinese and anywhere in the world. The only thing that they will change is their text um, language. But every other thing remains the same. So this is a global standard of structural detailing. It comes with a lot of samples, which which gives you a guide, as you can see there. But if you cannot afford this, also I would say you should just follow these steps as I'm taking taking you right now on how to detail a reinforced concrete bin. But if you want to buy this template, Stonebridge Company Structural Detailing Template, I would say you check on the link down below and then click on the link and um, just push it and um, buy it. And if you're having issue in payment, I would say we also have our WhatsApp link down below. I would say you should just click on, um, on, on the on the on that whatsapp number and send us a whatsapp number and we'll i will take you through from there and make everything okay for you okay so right now this template also shows you how to arrange your structural drawing after you're finished performing all the structural details it shows you how to arrange your structural drawing one after the other as you can see it here also gives you how to how to number it as you can see it here number it for you and everything and it also gives you samples of staircase detailing and all that so this this um, template is a very good one for a structural engineer and also for a civil engineer if you have it you are already 80 percent workload reduced okay but for those if you don't have it let's begin right now to detail our beam manually and if okay for those who have not yet um, subscribed to my channel, Ekidel, I would say you should click on the subscribe button because here on Ekidel, we train future civil and structural engineer to be a very good engineer and to carry their career to the highest level. Okay, so right now, let us begin right to detail our beam reinforcement right here in, in AutoCAD. Okay, so right now, we want to detail, let me, we, we want to detail this beam five because that was the same beam we used for our previous lecture. So we want to detail this beam five now manually. So what we'll do right now is just to copy this beam five, as you can see here, this beam five, and then copy the grid line also. So once you have your plan view or, or, or your floor plan, which was given to you after you have finished your design and you now produce your beam layout, next thing matter is to start producing your beam detail. But if you have, if you're following us on Prota structure, you will know that beam beam details are being given to you by the software Prota structure, but you have to make some kind of adjustments. So with the help of this, with the help of this software, once you paste your beam here, automatically it makes that adjustment for you. So you don't have to do any of that work again. Okay, so let's begin right now. So just go right now and do this right now, and then remove this also, and then type SL, enter, and then remove this also, and then just trim off this right now. You can see what I'm doing right now. Trim of this right now, trim of this, and then trim of this. Okay, this all this goes. Then remove this right now. Do the same thing for the upper one here. Do the same thing upper one here. But when you come up here, you just have to um, do the same thing here. Let me and say XL enter horizontal and put it here. And then hold this right now and trim, trim of this and trim of this. Don't trim of this center line here. Leave the on and trim of this and trim of this. And then bring this back downward by using S by stretching it down making your line auto straight and then keeping it this way and then removing this construction line. So you now have this right now. Let me just align this right now to be middle here. Okay, so right now, next to do right now is to now place your construction line. So just do XL, enter, 
v enter and then place this here at the at the at the midpoint which is the grid line or axis and then x a again for horizontal h enter and then place this also and then change this automatically right now to our layer stone bridge layer for beam so use stone bridge as beam 2 and keep it here and then we now offset our beam depth for this right now is 300 so we have to offset our beam depth of 300 immediately and offset it downward now on the design report for this the 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 slab thickness for this beam for for this structure is 150 so just offset our slab thickness right now which is 150 millimeter offset it again and keep this here and change this right now to a slab layer so you have this stone bridge company slab you can see the concrete slab so change this right now to that place right now so right now again right now we'll just um offset again this is column as you can see that this means column so just go here right now and say stb which is stone bridge column layer and type sl enter vertical enter and then paste this and begin to bring out the column lines as you can see what i'm doing right now bring out this right now so once this is done you're gonna click on the first column line right here and click again on, on this place again first one here and then what type tr trim and trim off everything in this side and trim off this also and then right now you now have to now do the same thing for here also hold this right now and say tr enter and then trim of this also and trim of this also and trim of this again and trim of this leaving the grid line as you can see it here then go here right now copy this grid line downward just copy it downward to a bit here and leave it here first and then type tr enter h enter which is horizontal place at the bottom of this place right now and then hold, split this one and then tr again to trim off this excessive concession line and see it here trim off this right now if you're doing right now then you cannot delete off this right now then what happens right now you now have to now do again s r s r s l enter hit enter for horizontal then just use an eye gauge to show your continuity that this column this columns here this columns here are as continuity so just do xl enter h enter and then just place this with your eye gauge and keep this here and then hold this right now select this right now and t t arrow and then trim off this point and trim off this point and trim off this again and trim off this again right now and remove this right now okay that's okay right now okay so right now we will not have to now match properties right now so I'll just go right now, click here and click here and go here and change the ST to ST center line. You can see there, um, stone bridge center line is here. Stone bridge center line, do this right now. And then SL enter, H enter, do a small gauge here. Can a small gauge here downward and just hold this right now, TR, and then remove this right now. And then do this, delete this. Okay, so this is what we have right now. Okay, so right now we can now go this right now. Hold this right now, just trim off this right now, trim off this, trim off this and this, and do the same thing for here and here. Then go and activate your stone bridge um, hidden detail and then line L enter and then go this way and type this and keep this here. Then go this right now. Okay, so you activated hidden details. Do the same thing here again to place that hidden details because this part of the color entry the beam should be at hidden detail and when it comes out here right now it now becomes a full column layer again so copy this again right now and keep this at the top here you can see what i'm doing right now do the same thing here again copy this and keep it at the top here again right now then do this line right now and stretch this using the eye gauge of this and just gauge this and keep this here or just the xl enter h enter and keep this here hold this and then s xl extend this and also extend this right now and then remove this right now and move, let me move this a bit this one's a bit upward right now and keep this here so we will now have to now stretch this one this one this one here upward right and stretch it downward here and keep it here okay so right now next to do right now is to now active as now draw our continuity line so i'll come here right now and just activate con continuous and then go right here right now click on line or just type L enter which is line then go here right now and just begin to draw my continuity line go or go in, go in a bit and click and go upward and click again and then make my line to be to be inclined and then go downward a, a bit and click and then go upward making my line auto straight and then click here and then go here and then click this place and let me just string this back downward back here so we now have a continuity line so we're gonna copy this right now copy this right now to all other 
columns which we have here to paste this here this shows that this column is at is at continuity you can see there so paste this here also then copy this again right now keeping your line straight by owning your auto command or auto key here then keep this one then not apply trim command to trim off the excessive one that just passed this place right now trim off this one also and this also and this also and this also and then this also and then remove this also and this also then right now we cannot show our we cannot show our 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 being our being reinforcement so right now we have to offset our concrete cover for bean in this case for this design the cover of concrete for for this beam is 25 millimeter so we have to do offset 25 millimeter to offset our cover for reinforcement our cover to reinforcement also then click on this first one here these two right now change the layer to a reinforcement layer so stb rebars can see there so right now you cannot see that this is not a reinforcement layer right now so right now the same thing happens here offset for cover for this side 25 enter offset here also and offset the same thing here also and then come here right now change this right now or just say match properties and match this reinforcement to this same layer and also to this one also this layer okay so right now next to do right now is to now apply our internal radius of um our just our internal bending radius here so we'll do f enter our enter the 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 size of this reinforcement is 16 so i'll just type 16 diameter and then just put here and then show my bending here and do the same thing at this screen. now on this place also do the same thing here also show the same thing here and here and clean and and fill it that place so right now again i'll just do o enter i want to now show for this bending that is coming this way right now so i have to offset the size of this reinforcement no no more the cover again so i'll say offset 16 and then click here and enter and then do f enter i'll enter the curvature radius is 16. I was just right now the internal radius of 16, and this also happens here. Do the same thing here also of set um 16, which is the size of the reinforcement, and then put this right now. And what F enter our enter 16 curvature and then do this right now. Internal radius. Okay, so right now I cannot go right now and then align this right now, align this to this right now, and then trim off this point just here right now trim of this point and remove this right now remove this right now e enter and e enter do the same thing here also and then remove this right now do the same thing here and trim of this right now i can show that here most people take this to be 200 as they are bending but i always advise to do it this way for for it to flush directly at the point of this place and also the same thing here so this is how to do it for me okay so right now you can now see that this is now our top reinforcement so we cannot go right now hold this right now select all the top reinforcement you can see what i'm doing right now select this right now you can see what i'm doing right now i will not, I will not have to go and block it i say apply block i'll say enter and i'll just name this block to be top reinforcement let me on my okay top reinforcement top, top rebar top rebar and i'll click on what's okay and i'll go the same thing again hold all the all the button reinforcement highlight all about what the all, all the button reinforcement can see it here all the button shape hold my b enter and then i'll type here button button rebar button rebar okay I'm not going to say right now, go this right now. So if I if you if you not check right, if you click on this right now, you cannot see that this whole thing right now becomes your top. You can see your top reinforcement right now, and also this one now becomes your top reinforcement. Your, your bottom reinforcement, you can see your bottom reinforcement, and this is now your top right now. You can see that. Okay, so right now, next to do right now, it is now offset for our links right now. Our link right now, the first link spacing of for, for every bin detailing is always 50. So I'll just do right now and offset 50 as my first link spacing offset here 50 and also offset here again 50 and then i'll now do match property or just take the layer for this link right now to be reinforcement so i'll go stb rebars right now and put this here stb rebars sorry rebars and put this here and then i'll go the same thing right now bring this downward here the size of these links for the reinforcement is diameter 8 so i'll just go here right now and type 8 enter and then do the same thing here to type it because this link we have to bind this top this top and this bottom reinforcement together and the size of this link because it to bind directly at this uh, 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 the, the this 
this but these links will be touching directly after it has curved to to tie together so the time now this the thing the thickness is eight so just offset eight eight enter and then do do the same thing for here also first of all bring this one downward to hit this top bar and bring this one downward to hit this bottom bar then offset the thickness then bring out the thickness of the of the length which is eight in this case most most people use 10 diameter for links most people use eight but for this case it's eight so just do eight and then right now next to do right now to now offset now call out our top bar number and our bottom bar number so right now first thing to do is to dimension this this being right now so I dimension this right now grid to grid dimension this right now grid to grid you can see how i went to go and activate my stone bridge dimension and do the same thing right now do do quickly the ql to, to not dimension this top bar so i'll point this top bar out dimension it bring it out like this and bring it out like this do the same thing for the bottom reinforcement point it out bring it out this way and this way also then i'll go to my dimension right now dimension something of this nature right now select this right now and explode it the whole the whole reason is to, is just to get my test font of, of of this size so i'll now do this right now the top of this if i bring this downward a bit so right now the top of this this top still right this top reinforcement have three have have three numbers of them that's 16. so i'll go right now and say um three slash dash t16 i'll use the bar mark to be this o2 so i'll use bar mark o2 and i'll now change this right now to a uh, stone bridge text layer you can see that and change this to by layer then copy this right now to bring this down uh, upward here so this now tells us that, that 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 this top reinforcement is three number of them that's of them that's 16 and bar mark o2 so do the same thing here copy it here for for the for the bottom reinforcement bottom here is four numbers so i'll just copy paste this here and then change this right now to um four numbers by the clicking this i'll change to, to four numbers and then um, adjust this backward as you can see it here so right now again right now what i'll do right now is to now um show my show my links number of links you can see it here so i'll show my links property right now number of links of in this place so i'll just click on the first point here and click at the last point here right now and then go downward here right now and do this now if you have not subscribed to my channel Eki there i'll say you click on the subscribe button so don't miss my coming video when i'll be performing all that kind of um strat detailing okay, so right now what i do right now is to now to not show my number of things right now so i'll just double click on this place right now and then the I'll, I'll, I'll first of all put this right now and then put my diameter of the links which is eight and then put my um spacing you know put my bar mark bar mark o1 i'll say o1 then splash again the spacing of the of these links from 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 our design report is 200 and i'll now put um center to center to center i'll put it this way sorry center splash center and i'll put here millimeter and i'll now go now i have to calculate no how many number of links is been occupying here so i'll now go and check the distance between these two links now i'll check this distance right now the distance gives me you can see that link to link gives me four six seven five so i'll have to do calculator right now that this distance all over the spacing so four six seven five divided by the spacing from from our from from our design report so this is 200 divided by this now equals now becomes 23.37 you can see that so i'll make it to be 24 as a round figure so i'll go right now and put this right now to this place 24 numbers and i'll just go here right now so we go here and remove this dimension that is here already so this is what we now have so this is not that 24 numbers of link at diameter eight at bar map 01 spacing 200 is being occupied here so let me show you how this thing will look like on the real sense during construction so this will look like, like this so i'll just offset right now 200 spacing as we have as we have here as we have here 200 spacing right now and i could enter so at side this is this is what they will do after the first 50 spacing they'll now be doing 200 spacing till they get to the last one so this this is how it will it will look like on site it will look like this on site this way this will look like this on site as you can see it here it will look this way at site you can see after we count how many numbers we have here as you can see that's 24 this, this, this is already one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay this is already one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so 
10, 11, 12, 13, 13, sorry, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, sorry, 21, 22, 23, and 24, the last. You can see there. That, this, that, this 23, don't forget that, that we had 23.3 something. So if you check this one, this, this dimension will give us 370 something. You can see that. That is that 3M75. You can see that. So this now, this is that approximation value that, that we had before. So you can now see this how it will look like on site. But we don't show all these links on detailing. This is not a standard way of, of ensuring our, our, our bin links. The main way is to just show the first and the last and then call out all the total number here and the size and the bar mark and the spacing here. You can see it here. So right now, we have almost done to the end of this right now. So next one that is now copy this right now to now know, uh, give this beam a name that this is being five, that what we got from this point, as we can see that being five here. So you give this right now being five. Next thing to do right now is to click on this beam, double click on this name, right click and hold control and then control U to make it underline. You can see it here. Then copy this again right now to now show the number doors. How many number did this beam appear? So in this uh, beam layout right now, this appeared only one. You can see that this beam five. No other beam that is similar to beam five right now. Only one beam that is appeared. So you can just go here right now and show here beam. Um, you can go here and say one number dot. Sorry, use capital letter all through number dot one number does. Which this means that this beam only have one one number on this on this entire building or on this um bin layout you can see there in my last video i showed you guys how to um do this bin layout of this layout right here in autocad so right now this is what you're doing right now so right now we just go this right now i'll copy this right now and just on the um remove this on the line right now from this right now okay so this is now what we now have gotten right now so this is how to detail a beam reinforcement in my next video i'll show you how to detail how, how to cut out the section so you can just go right now and copy if you have this template copy this um section symbol if you have this template or copy it from here if you have this template already you can just copy this right now from here right now copy it from here and then go and paste it directly on your own that's why i say you need this template because it will easy it will make your work easier so once you paste this right now at this place right now you can see that so i can just go right now and stretch this upward a bit stretch this upward a bit right now but it's okay you can see that i i now have enough space to play with so i can just move this again up for this begin so in my next video I will, I will show you how to cut section for this beam right now we will have to cut section for this beam to show the section just like this we will have to show the section just like this i can see it here we will show our slab and also our beam depth and show the reinforcement and show the links as you can see there so i'll show I will, I will in my next video i'll have to draw this right now okay so thank you for coming to the end of this video right now so if you have not still have um bought this template i'll say you as a as a civil and social engineer you need this template a lot because it will make your work easier and, and it will make you to know what you're doing and also if you have not subscribed to my channel, Ekidero, I will say you should click on the subscribe button and also click on the like button and share this video with your friends and family so that they will also know how to use, uh, how, how, how to perform um, social detailing. Okay, so thank you. We have come to the end of this of this lesson for today. And then in my, in my next video, I will be showing you how to, how to detail a column, column reinforcement also here in AutoCAD and in Ekidero. Okay, so thank you and God bless you.